this is Rebel and Lexi, and we can't actually do a reaction to Night of the Demons, so what we're going to do is we're going to roast the demons, uh, or the Night of the Demons. And um, when I say roast, what I mean is, is we're just going to sort of kind of critique as and we go along. Comments. We're going to make our snide comments, as she and I always do uh, when we watch any horror movie. It's not to say that Night of the Demons is a bad movie. It's not. It's one of my favorite movies, actually, and I watch it quite frequently, probably a little bit too much. But um, I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, give us a, a like and subscribe. And here we go. The car is so messed up. <laughs> All the time I see it. She's a mood though. Oh yeah. <laughs> that little stooge. We all had a friend that was stooge hey, back in stooge. high school. What? I never did. I can't take anybody calling me a bitch. <laughs> Never do this, please. You're gonna get in a car accident. Oh yeah. Pumpkin underwear. Gotta love it. This is a moody old man. I've been in every town. There's gotta be this one old oh, moody yeah. man. Maybe. So I'm, I'm sure we had one in Calpins. Oh, I had several in Calpins. I just don't know what it happened in his life to make him so grouchy. And so miserable. Right? Then you're retirement, like, you ain't gotta work. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's no fool like an old fool. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 mm. cool pops, you blow He's your angry. Face. Such an angry man. I'm with Lexi. What made this man so angry in life? That's an odd meal. Apples, razor blades, and celery. Gee, mister, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Get your hands off of me. Hey, calm down. Get away from me. I was just trying to help. I don't need your help, you damn little whore. That was rude. That was very rude. I wouldn't want to help an old creep like you anyway. She was just going to help you with your bag. Exactly. And to sue someone as a whore is... They don't get what they deserve. Oh, there's the answer to the razor blades and apples. Right. <laughs> Same back in the day. Yep. Judy! Sorry, Mom, I'm in a hurry. Has Jay Jansen called? Jay. She has no. the best 80s hair, though. Her and Mom had some good 80s hair. Sal? Mm -hmm. I'll get it. Hello, Jay? Hey, Judy, Imagine if the grandparents I'm answered the phone call. Right. right. Hey, Jay. No, <laughs> Judy. This is Granny. <laughs> Never answer the phone well, that way. Hello, Lexi. Uh, no. This is your husband. What do you mean? I've got a better party to go to. Does this mean I should find another date for the dance? Of course not. Hey, I thought you'd be happy to go to a real party. That's cool. Dance for nerds. Oh, okay. I didn't really sure, dance for years, but okay. Who's no. giving it? I like school dances. Angela? No, the only Angela I know is that weird girl in history class. Well, as a matter of fact. Jay, you've got to be kidding. Angela is such a weirdo. Granny says she's into witchcraft and all sorts of creepy stuff. And that's not really being a weirdo. It depends on what you do with it. It makes you weird. <laughs> Never so believe why rumors, did people. You want to go to party, rumors typically are there you know, to ruin someone's party. reputation. It's like Christmas tour. Do we have to? Come on, Max friend, you're going. Wow, with well, these fun. headphones, I can actually hear he's listening to music oh, in the background. Right, I, I did not know that. I can't wait to meet her family. She probably lives in a belfry. Well, it's, it's not at her house. It's at Hall House. Hall House? Jay! Pick you up at 20. That's my question. Uh, yeah. I would have to have him beside the bed myself, but... Especially if you get up in the middle of the night and have to go to the bathroom, I mean... Mm -hmm. 
Especially when you have them wood floors. Oh, honey, when you cold. wake up in the middle of the night, it's so cold. Now, why would you go into a door that's just slowly opening suspiciously? And dark inside. Yeah. Boo! <laughs> I wish I had a camera. You look like you dropped the load, Junior. Hey, hey. Cool and squirt. Who do you think you are? Rocky Balboa? <laughs> Let me go, creep! Sure. I go tell that pretty little piece you call your sister that Aunt Smoke Silas here. I tell her I brung my pet snake for her to play. <laughs> He's getting ready for a date, butthole. If I were you, I'd get out of here before he shows up and turns your ugly face into a punch. No, uh, he's not that big and bad, but whatever. Shit, punk. Go get your sister before I lose my cool. Which way? You hear what I said, bozo? How many times he grabbed him by the sweater? Like three times. Sorry. <laughs> he's not sucking up to the younger brother. That's a good thing. Yeah, when somebody's trying to be fake to the family, you know they're not good news. Uh, he's being himself. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, A quarter. <laughs> this is the eighties. Maybe that was a lot of money. I don't remember. What do you think this is? Some kind of depression or something? Probably. <laughs> This is my final offer, kid. Now take it and sing. Went from Where's the friggin' party? One quarter. To three extra quarters. Exactly. <laughs> Four so quarters. Crashed anyway. Yeah, try me. It's a whole house. Oh, house. Then again, I, I think he didn't think he'd have the guts to go to Whole House, so he's like, I'll just take a dollar. Like Probably. I took twenty five of that. Honestly, Whole House must have had a reputation in this oh, yeah. town. Yeah, she saw Judy's reaction to it immediately at the name. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Free mask. You ain't got to pay for it. Yeah. You didn't need to be scaring kids anyway. Hope she can find out the tide she wants to get. <laughs> I was saying, back in the day, you didn't have as many options with tide as you do now. Yeah, it's just tide. It was just the one tide because now you have extra strong. You have scented. Then you mm, have sportswear. With, with softener. Uh, I mean, we use tide sports, actually. I love it. It's crazy how many different types you have now when it comes to cleaning products. I mean, it's a good thing. I mean, some people are very sensitive to smells. Mm -hmm. It's true. And some people have very sensitive skin. And it looks like, what are we what are we getting here at this store? It's like a bunch of chocolates and cookies. That's a lot of candy. Uh, this, uh, this must be Angela, obviously, who is getting stuff for her potty. That whole house. Or whole house. Depends on who says it. Angela's so pretty. I just can't figure out what she's wearing. Like, she's supposed to be... Maybe she's a dark bride or a vampire I think she, cause she has the veil. Or, yeah. I, I do think that the costume is Very spot hurt. on. Spot on. I love it. You know, I, I've never really went that bold for Halloween. Oh, she's just gonna... Get that five finger discount. People used to do that all the time. Now we have the scanners at the door, making sure you don't steal. Oh yeah, scanners would be going off. Have sour balls. Why sure we do? Why sure we do? Too bad. I bet you don't get many blowjobs. Why do you? Ah, oh, look at that guy. He knew it was coming. The one on the left. <laughs> do you see his face? He knew it. <laughs> Mood, Angela. No matter what she does, Angela looks better in her costume. Relax. I just want to look good for the boy. You know, I've never had a friend like her that looked in the mirror so much. Then again, all my friends and I are just not really concerned with our looks. And we're gonna scare the shit out of them. Yeah, Sal. Sal's um way better looking. Yeah, but also I think it's more of he had to keep a reputation. His. Yeah, yeah, the bad boy reputation yeah. kind of a thing. Because they always say some of the bad boys have the, the softer insides. Well, you must be Judy's little brother, huh? Uh, she's pretty lucky. She's, uh, she's a real nice girl. Mm hmm. Yeah, are you dating her for her personality? Because she has big cha cha. Oh, yeah, the brother's on to you. Nailed it. That'll be the latter. She must be Jay. Yeah. A dad and a son will always figure men out very easily. Oh, gee. I'd love to, but I'm, I'm trying to watch my weight. Oh, your weight? You must be kidding. You're skinny as a rail. 
Oh, come on, Jay. Don't be shy. Have one. I just took them out of the oven. I'll take it. It's chocolate. Absolutely. No, thanks, Mrs. Especially with my cravings around Whole Halloween. Plate. Exactly. Yeah. Whole plate. Yeah. Give it to me. We're staying oh, here. No. We're eating the chocolate. Sun -dried poodle turds. No, they don't. Why me? Because it's you. Hey, you look great. Yeah, the best bride of Frankenstein I ever saw. Mm -hmm. He sure has a line for okay, everything. I thought you were going to wear a costume. Well, I was, but he I is. I... He's the boogeyman. Can't you tell? He's the pick of the litter. Billy, please. <laughs> Happy Halloween, sweetheart. Ooh. Um, He's better. starting off too fast, uh, sir. Strike one. Don't try to kiss. Nice try to kiss your date, your first date, in front of the brother and the sister. No, the mom. Strike mom. Strike one. Exactly. Can't do that. <laughs> God, I'm so embarrassed. My mom and her cereal box recipes. They so just hey, let her be a mom. Yeah, you have fun doing that stuff. And, yep, you, you hey, starting too fast. Strike two. Yeah. Right. Strike two. You ain't made it out the door. You're already trying to make out with the girl. Isn't this a first date? We will find out. After several dates, it would... Average then I would snaps. accept, but doesn't that Half matter? blind and half retarded. Sounds like Angela. Dizzy fucking bitch. And for a while, I thought this was actually like a map that they got at the gas station. Really I think really this was like the map that this, the person that was <laughs> having the party... Funny. Drew, because it is on a little piece of paper. Me took me a while to do it, or to figure it out. Typical. Shut up and drive, bitch. But Helen was right though. Like, were you an asshole, like born that way, or do you just have it a free will? Like, you're, just, you're so mean to people, especially your friends. Your friends. I am telling He's you. He's calling them names and everything. I'm like, I don't know when you call me a name out of a joke, but dear God. And we got a Peter Pan and a doctor. Well, thank God you two have the Halloween spirit. At least I won't be the only one wearing a costume. Oh, I didn't really expect to see Jay in a costume. Jay's way too cool for uh -huh. that. <laughs> Just get the car, Max. Hey, Max, tell the truth, though. <laughs> it's Halloween for a reason. You have um, fun. It looks like that hard turn doesn't cost him a tire. Great. Just great. Wondered why they called you stooge. Right. <laughs> Look, I said I always carry a spare. I never promised you a tire iron. But you kind of need to have that when you have a spare tire. Exactly. Critique number one. Don't all cars come with a a tire iron with the spare and a jack? I don't know because I've never looked. I've never had to use my spare. But don't those all come together? like a um a set in a car I'm but also really sure. why would you drive like a maniac especially for the fact that if there was more traffic than that which during halloween there's a lot of traffic and you kids. would have you would have been in a really bad situation which they're mm -hmm. in right now and it's freezing cold outside during halloween too and mm -hmm. you see how little clothing she's got on that's be cold and it's out in the middle of nowhere yeah mm -hmm. he was named properly stooge yeah and toward their only map yeah, we Taking a wrong turn somewhere. No one would give a party out here. We definitely did not take any wrong turns, okay? I know where whole house is. It ain't far from there. So shut up and start walking. Great. Look, are you fat and dumb? Hey, you're coming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> karma. We know they're all being fat, but he's definitely doing right, it. It's good karma. You guys need a hand? You sure do. That's just mean. Not even helping them. No. Like, I mean, I would feel bad knowing that Stooge can't even get his car to get it home. It'll be stuck out there. Just leave it and they'll show. I don't know, but they'll show in his true colors, definitely. There's Whole House. Doesn't almost all towns have like a, a known haunted house or something? Yes. Because we definitely do. We have several. But one of them was torn down a while ago. Because my dad actually used to live in it. The Hall family met a pretty gruesome man, didn't they? They sure did. As a matter of fact, it was on Halloween night. One of them went crazy and slaughtered the entire family, then committed suicide. They could never figure out who did it. Too much blood and guts. <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna party. Well, kind of back in the day, you couldn't figure things out so easily that you can nowadays when it comes to crime. I would think. I mean, there'd have to be a weapon. Unless it was demonic. 
Mm. <laughs> Hell, that was easy. They didn't even lock the gate. Yeah, the county used to keep this place locked up all the time. Only the locks kept disappearing. I guess they finally gave up. Well, it doesn't look like much of a party happening here. Maybe now it's been abandoned. <laughs> Max, what are you doing? Ah, oh, her booties are cute. I'm just <laughs> I'm noticing those. About this place. Come here. Judy, come here, will ya? It's all comfortable. Come here, listen. I've never dressed as Peter Pan. I think I've dressed as a vampire. Uh, Harley Quinn. Cat. You were a pumpkin. Water. Yeah. You were a... Stream. Zombie. According to legend, it completely surrounds the property. This wall was built right on top of it. How do you do that? Brick wall on top of I don't know. I've wondered that myself. Oh, there's a stroke of engineering genius. Exactly my point. Like how? <laughs> well, the wall was built to mark the stream. Uh, supposedly the That'd be a sick wall. The land can't cross over running water or something. Interesting. There's always these legends where either it's vampires or demons that can't cross over Listen. running water. What? That's what I mean. Isn't it quiet? Not even the crickets will come to this property. Well, there's nothing living down there. <laughs> Everything's dead. Right, Max. Yeah, I'm with the crickets. And besides, it'd probably feel really bad there. Yeah. It's typically how it is when you go into a, a haunted area. It's... Oh, jeez. Uh. Somebody fired the maid. Yeah, somebody did. The whole family maid was killed along with the rest of them. Someone managed to roast her. Ooh. Great. Barbecue maid. That's pretty Where bad. Work for a family and then they kill you in the midst of a mass murder. Can we go home now? Might need to listen to Judy peeps. I guess not. Hey guys, check this out. I mean, if something is haunted, that's fine, but the thing is, is this is a really bad place to be. Oh bad God. juju. This must have been left here by a previous tenant. Okay, everybody hide, quick. Get rid of your lights. Jay! Come on, this is gonna be great, just relax. <laughs> nah! So! Jay, no! Hey, whose side are you on? Whose side am I That's on? That's a stupid you're thing to like say. Idiot. You were just about to climb in there and scare somebody else. Now you're gonna punch out Sal just because he beat you to Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Spot on, hey, Judy. Up, Spot Tell on. Me. She let her some Sal. Good evening. Allow me to introduce myself. Yeah, Count Dingleberry, the flaming asshole of Transylvania. You're not very good yourself, uh, Max. What's the matter, okay. Maxie, baby? You pissed because I made you lose your brewski? Hey, Angela didn't tell me that this asshole was invited. He wasn't. Was he just cramped style or is he gonna steal your lady? Mm -hmm. oh, the jealousy cramping you. And you dances. Let's party! Definitely look nice in there when I lit the candles. Yeah, got some personality for sure. Good ambience. A legit Halloween hey, party. Sal, what do you want? Hello, Sal. Come in, Sal. Earth to Sal. There was no car out there. Hey, I wonder how Sal got there. I think he walked. But did Angel and Suzanne give the other three around? Because they just showed up, showed up with them. I've been wondering the same thing. I don't know. I would hope so. I mean, because I would hate to make people walk that far. She probably did. Yeah, you got another strike. <laughs> yeah. That place looks very interesting. Mm hmm And you didn't have to make cobwebs. They're already there. Thanks. Hey, Sal. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Huh? I wouldn't leave that lighter lying there. We wouldn't want the spirits to see you littering up their place. Would we now? I'm sure they'll make a set of cake out of it. Oh. Have it your I'd way. I'd probably listen to Angela if I were you. She knows a lot more about that stuff. Yeah. Definitely. And things can easily piss things off. And she's not looking to get, you oh, know, your man. Right? So, Like her friend is. Yeah. Obviously, Suzanne wants everybody's man. And sadly, you always got one of those girls or guys that's like that. There you go. Pick it up, Judy. 
Hey, I see cheese balls on the table. I love it. I love cheese balls. Here, Max. Just gotta cool you down a yeah, little. Yeah, cool off, Max. Thanks, babe. Oh, how sweet. Well, well you're trying to steal someone else's name. It's exactly. not really attractive. You will tell your kid that. Oh yeah, I used to be an acid head. Back in the day. I used to be an acid head. Not really, but this is the scary thing to tell your child. <laughs> Love the music. 70s and 80s had great music. There you go. Here comes Miss Hottail. Um, there's couples here, and that didn't include you. You have a couple of single guys, you got Stu and all of them. Exactly. And it's drop against you again. Then it's only, only up to top four, or are we on three? I don't know, we're on five. I don't know. I know there was one, two, no, I think we're on maybe three. Oh, I said three because of his arrogance against the with the car. Don't blame me, man. I just put batteries in the damn thing this morning. <laughs> I can't live without my music. Forget it. There's plenty of time for dancing later. Now it's the time mirror again. Games. Yeah, we can play post orifice and you can be the stamp. Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, please don't make me ill. Yeah, don't make me ill either. <laughs> yeah. Of something a bit more in tune with the holiday. Like what? Bobbing for apples with razor blades in them? Yeah, no. <laughs> you have to go to that old man's house to do There's that. <laughs> he has many of them. Say yeah. On. Isn't that a little chancy? I mean, this is Halloween, the night when all the creepy things are supposed to stalk the earth. I mean, there's no telling what we'll dredge up, especially in this old With place. the kind of reputation it has, I How wouldn't doubt it. Mm -hmm. How about a past life seance? A what? A past life seance. You know, we all sit around, look in a mirror, and see our past life. I wouldn't want to see my past life. <laughs> It'd probably be terrible. I'm not curious about it myself. I'm afraid not, Suzanne. We need one we can all look into at once. Oh, this is on our friends. Kids, are. you're not gonna believe what I found in here. Ooh. Oh, it's perfect. I love it. The mirror. You just gotta clean it a little bit. Right. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe my luck. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Oh, don't tell me you're afraid too. Oh, Helen. <laughs> oh, come on. It's just a mirror. What harm can it do? A lot. It's really very simple. You just keep staring at my reflection in the mirror until the glass clouds up all black. When it clears, no, we'll see what I look like in a past life. Sounds easy enough to me. Yeah, right. And if you buy that, I got this real nifty bridge to sell you. <laughs> Everybody shut up. Now concentrate on my reflection in the mirror. <laughs> Every every teenage girl. I'm trying to hinge, but I can't get past that zit on your chin. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, asshole. They didn't like them in the beginning, now they're getting buddies. Get oh, yeah. Okay, now, well, you know, I think they all know each other from school, though, you know? Yeah. Because they did wipe it off. Look, it's it's not as dusty. Yeah, no, when a mirror turns black, you run. Well, they were, oh, they were aiming for that, though. It was just starting to work. Was I swear I saw the mirror trick. Oh yeah, I think yeah, it I worked. Saw, saw oh yeah. It's like a bug. <laughs> there goes the mirror. Oh, Y'all got seven years of bad luck. What did you I do? Didn't know. I didn't, she didn't touch the mirror. I don't understand why it failed. Probably the force of whatever was in it. It's the only explanation. I kind of just saw a creepy face just slam against the mirror book. Shut up, Stooge. You're not helping matters. What? I think we agree, too. She squeaked a whole lot. Hey, what more in this mask? Oh, God. That's even worse. It doesn't matter. I love this. All them in the mirrors. Yeah. All in like a different little shard. It's a good effect. I really like it. Yeah. I just hope Helen didn't piss off the owner of the mirror. Ow, it's only kidding. Yeah, no. Oh no. Here time to run. Again. This was the time to leave. Uh, yeah, uh, basement. Hello. You guys did invite some other people to this party. Angela? 
Yeah. Yeah. Some cute boys, Her suspicious face of no. Still. Yeah. Okay. Like it's from the There's basement. literally no entrance or exit to the basement, so right. why would someone be down no there? No cars were there. Nobody was there. And you so didn't what's see any, in the basement? And you didn't see any signs of life of where there was like maybe cans or even dead rats where they've been eating anything. No, I'd be running by this. Because what do they call this? They call it this uh, crematorium. That's where they cremated people. No, like the house. Like, you know, uh, it was, um, it was a, um, oh, you would have to ask me that. It's a, it's a mortuary. Mortuary. Yeah. So that's the crematorium where they would cremate those who didn't want to be buried. That's an odd coloration for a, a mortuary house. There's a lot of pink. See, and the thing came out of the crematorium. Mm-hmm. And the only thing we know of that went to the crematorium was the maid. Well, we know she was barbecued. Same. I love this work with the camera. Yeah. Great, draft, Great camera work. Stooge must be wearing his mom's dirty panties again. I like it when people find different ways to be unique when it comes to filmmaking. Give it away. Well, we found the target. Her mouth's wide open. Mm -hmm. Lovely. I don't like what's happening here. What do you mean? I know what she means. Like, come on, this ain't exactly the most happening party I've ever been to, okay? What do you mean, Angela? Those noises that we heard, there were three of them. And that awful stink. And then the chill. It's not cold now. Must have been a draw. Must have been a draw. Maybe somebody did come in. <laughs> she suddenly went British. <laughs> but we all experienced them. The noise, the stink, and the chill. They're all signs of demonic infestation. Typically true. Demonic what? Demonic what? I mean, there's no one else in the house. Who could have made the noise? Mm. It was loud. Or it made it cold suddenly. And it was three knocks. Okay. Or yeah, the stink. I'm sure you're right, okay? Damon's usually the stick highly bad. Cold beer and blew us a cool, stiff breeze right out of his bottle. I can tell you, you run if you smell sulfur, you smell rotten meat, or you smell like feces, then you run. Especially if you're in a house alone. Yeah. Unless you have pets, and that kind of makes sense. But with the feces. Part. Wow. Hey, take a look at that. Oh, what is that? Smells like roses. It's disguising its scent. Hey, you know, I think we're mm -hmm. Or it's not as threatening. Like right, like rotted flesh isn't very it's awesome to smell. Roses to are better. Mm -hmm. Oh, really, Stooge? I'm not kidding. I read all the time. Would you listen to me? They're not ghosts. This house is not haunted. It's possessed. <laughs> yeah, there is a difference between the two. Possessed, man, haunted, <laughs> Who gives a shit? What's the difference between possessed and haunted? A haunted house is a house with ghosts in it. The spirits of people who've died. Yeah, and they're typically not threatening. The spirits living in a house possessed have never existed in human form. They've only existed in spirit form. They're pure evil. They're and this is why you start running yeah, right now. Come on. Yeah. You can't really believe this place is possessed. <laughs> nah, just repossessed. <laughs> 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 For tonight, anyway. Yep, everybody ignore Suzanne with her sudden change of personality. Mm hmm. Maybe Roger's right. Maybe we should leave. Oh, come on, let's hang out. Yeah, eat a bowl of fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I am here to party. Dude, you could party every weekend if you wanted to. Just because one lame wuss wants to bail doesn't mean we ace this party. Angela, your friend has just suddenly changed. Mm-hmm. Not talking about boys anymore. We need a ride. <laughs> hey, don't look at me, pal. My cruiser's sitting in a ditch two miles from here. Huh? And whose fault is that? Hey, you know, you could spend the night in it. Though. Yeah, I'm taking the corner on two wheels. <laughs> here, Raj, take Angie's car. Hey, what the fuck do you think you're Chill doing? out, hun. It's your party. You ain't going anywhere. Yeah, no, you ain't giving my car away to somebody else. No. How am I gonna get home? I don't care if you're a chicken shit. Just
Just remember to open the gate before you drive through it. <laughs> yeah, no one notices her changed personality. She's not talking about boys. She's not looking in the mirror. Mm hmm And she's not trying to get anybody else's man. Well, you guys can count us out. Judy and I have some exploring to do. Yeah, great idea. Let's see what kind of action we can dig up in this glorious old dump, don't you? I don't know, Jay. Oh, come on, Judy. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to You're find so whiny. Place. Hey, we'll check you guys out later. Don't do anything stupid while we're gone, huh? Yeah, right. Y'all say hi to Casper for me. <laughs> well, this party's getting down to the cream now. I think I'm gonna go find the bathroom. Good idea. It's kind of odd she's not using her little mirror, but she's got a piece oh, of the no mirror. Thanks. From I'd rather take Stooge. Mm. It's a shard. Stooge. <laughs> hey, you're the lady, man. She wants real man gardener charm. But Stooge is a fat pig. Maybe I'm in the mood for pork tonight. Number two. Yep, they confused. I think the fire is sus. Her walking is you awful. Mm, them heels. My feet would be killing me. I don't fucking believe it. I don't like So heels. let's go ahead and take notice, people. What changes with Angela? Her How about the cross is now upside down, which took me probably about seven times of watching this movie before I noticed and that. And then she's suddenly smiling creepily. Hey, you know what? This reminds me of a great story. There's too many stories around this house. You can't you tell know, all of them. I think we've heard enough stories for one. Well, for his, no, on, for his uh, right. plans, obviously. Jay is totally up to something. I'm sure it's no good. And he's too moody and whiny about staying there late oh, night. All right. You better be here. I'm gonna water the hallway. No, try this one. Come on. That's a very large and odd-looking oh, bathroom. Right, Susie Q. How did you know? And really, the water wouldn't even Maybe be on. Mm -mm. So I don't even get it. No, wait, um, no power, no water. I mean, the house is basically falling in. And deserted. And deserted. Like to go in there together? Huh? Yeah, because nothing spells sexy like listening to somebody peeing. I mean, some people have that kink. That definitely ain't mine. No, I, no. I, I, like to, I like to do my business by myself. Yeah, and if somebody's nearby, then it don't want to come out. So no. you're just going to hinder me from the process. Trying to Shit. Yeah, and that's, that's not concerning at all. Just a sudden gust of wind through the house yeah, and everything's exactly. closed. Exactly. Mr. Bland already had a bad rep. Sure, Max. Yeah. For centuries, the ancient Indian tribes that used to live around this area would never set foot on this side of the underground creek. Even back then, they said the land was unclean. Right, Max. And I suppose the ghost of an ancient Indian told you that. No. Mrs. That was kind of a snot comment. Everything that came out of his mouth was a snot of comment. Cool they used to go down here. Yeah, especially since they didn't have any indoor plumbing, right? <laughs> no, yeah, he's, he's not sure. funny. Yeah, he's not funny at all. A young brave got lost and settled here with his family by mistake. Anyway, they found him three weeks later, sitting under a teepee he made out of his squaw's intestines. Mm. And chewing on the leg of his papoose. Oh, gross! I Basically, so many disgusting the TV was made out of his life. wife's intestines, and then he was chewing on the leg of his child. Mm. Basically, that was tribal terms. Yeah, we looked it up. Oh, um, I, I think it's time that you know, Franny and I did some exploring on our own. No, the things that you can do when you're possessed. <laughs> Happy Halloween. So I guess now we're we're figuring out what uh, Jay is uh, up to. Can't stand him. Mm. Well, Alice, looks like we're all alone in Wonderland. Another strike. Strike six, maybe six, seven, seven. seven. Yeah. Here, Jay. And you mainly feeling her. This is a first date. 
Yes, this and we know this is a first date. It's too creepy. Well, that's the whole idea. You're supposed to be jumping into my arms. So basically, your point is she's supposed to just lay down, strip her clothes off, and have sex with you in a dark, dingy, creepy, and dusty house that's yeah. haunted? No. It's haunted. That's the, last thing. that's the last thing I would do. Like, why would you make yourself more vulnerable? We gate, didn't we? This just doesn't make sense. Give up already. Oh, the gate has disappeared. Now, what kind of talk is that? There was a gate here. And if we just keep following this damn wall, we're bound to find The gate's that. right at the front door. Look, if it ain't there, then it ain't there. there. Mm-hmm. Don't you understand, Raj? We're dead. We've all died and gone to hell. I guess he thinks part of the wild's fake or something. I don't spend while he's trying to bang on it. Are you I love her mentality, oh, though. Like, we've all died and gone to hell. Mm. Hell, my ass. There is a gate here, sweet mother. You always watch the shadows, people. Helen! This is a funny girl. She kind of got kidnapped by demons, but. Helen? Where the hell did she go? I mean, it's, it's kind of odd that you don't see her in the distance. Mm -hmm. She couldn't have gone far that fast without you hearing her running. But my thing is, why didn't they get in the car and drive and then realize that there was no gate? Or do you think they did? I mean, because the car didn't move that I know of. No, it was still in the same place. I guess because they looked out front and they saw there was no gate. That would have to be Angela's car. Quit the act. I know you've done this before. And there we get. I saw the way you jumped to Sal's aid. Jay, what are you getting at? I know all about you two. Oh, I know all about oh, really? you. He's such a jerk. What do you know? Nothing. I just know that you used to date Sal, that's all. So you owe her a shot of leg? I like went she out owes you once. Yeah. Once is all it takes. I don't understand why you're acting Just because like she's this. done it with somebody else to me, she has to deal with you. you and Sal, so what's the big deal? Oh, so you think I slept with Sal just because I went out with him? Didn't you? None of your business. You know, that's none of your business. So that's why you wanted to go out with me. Oh, God. That's why I said this was a first date. Because we knew, obviously we saw the movie before. But so his thinking is, okay, supposedly she's done it with Sal and the whole school knows about it, which we know the rumors aren't that big. And number two, he thinks if I take her out to the dance, then obviously he can't have any private time. So he wants to go to this party, supposedly, because it'll be like Christmas, you know, since Angela may be into witchcraft. But the whole thing is to get her somewhere where she owes him sex because he happened to ask her out. He didn't even spend a dime on her. He hasn't done anything for her. And even if she was loose, which uh, obviously she is a very innocent character you can tell in here, she, isn't. she was not that type of a girl, but he expected her to put out because he thought that she had for Sal. Uh, I don't understand what goes on in some of these, these guys' minds. That's the thing. Um, it's just because you've done it with somebody else doesn't mean you owe someone else that's next in, exactly. the, in the line of dating. You have to give it to them. That, and that then, doesn't matter. And then, obviously, it's, oh, come on. You've done this before. Really? And really, it's a first date. So, why would she be comfortable with doing it even if she did? Right. She's just now dating you. Why does she owe you? Because you're, you know, not in a costume and you're such a classy guy. You've already got so many strikes against you. It's not even funny. And I can tell you, a lot of people's thinking nowadays that both guys and girls think this way. You need to take time to know this person before you even do a thing like exactly. this. Exactly. Because he's only using it just for this for one that. time. Mm -hmm. He's not wanting to, to try to see if this is the person that he's into nope. that they'll have a, a good relationship nope. or whatever and i understand high school i understand all that stuff i've been there i've done this that. is why i never dated <laughs> i've been there and i've done that but that's the thing is you don't want to go out with a guy who's going to think immediately because you may have done it with somebody else that means you owe him because of what he supposedly heard so i mean he's just he's done struck out completely high school and college people are just terrible that's how they think that's their mentality nowadays including a few of my ex-friends thought that way entirely all the time come on i thought you wanted it just as much as i did okay you know one that wanted this you've been pushing her to do it exactly and she yeah. don't want it exactly yeah. now she feels used which yeah he was using you exactly fine have a at way. least she knows her worth i'm out of here Exactly. Oh, is your Jay, ego hurt? Wait. Yeah, he was a total jerk. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't Come go after him. Like, I'm better in this room than with you. Jay! 
And since this is an old house, probably drier and deader than my great 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 grandfather, um, the door is kind of jammed. Yeah. <laughs> it's just stuck in there. Just stuck in there. Mm -hmm. Damn it, bitch! Come on. No, she's kind of acting possessed. <laughs> I mean, you kind of need to let the guy go first, because, you know, they can't really hold their urine like women can. Now, her makeup is, like, totally gone from this And her face is stretching. Point. Whoa. Especially she's dead. Her body's dead now. <laughs> Yeah, but she's not legitimately dead yet. They hadn't killed her. No, it's like she was making... It's like the demon was making her body age. I guess. Maybe she was looking to see what she could do with her face. <laughs> yeah, and the mirror's broken. Um, did she, like, punch it or slam her head? I think she probably punched it. <laughs> she looked so horrible. Suzanne? Ooh, Stooge, you might as well go back downstairs, bud. I'm sorry, but like this... I wouldn't be in this house. I guess he's gonna use the bathroom. He did. I legit wanted to use the bathroom, so. Yes. What the fuck are you doing over there? Yeah, you, you can tell she went out like this at the beginning. <laughs> I just love her outfit. It really was. I mean, she had the best Halloween outfit on. Of course, I've never seen an outfit like that nowadays. I think she was supposed to be like a gothic bride or a dark bride. Yeah. Definitely. Because two of my ex-friends before said they wanted to be like a gothic bride when they got married. They wanted to wear all black. It makes sense. Yeah, n n no, this, this is too creepy. <laughs> oh. And we thought it was dead earlier. Uh, yeah. Batteries are okay. And she's suddenly dancing. <laughs> yeah. In a weird way. <laughs> It would be so uncomfortable doing the dress, though. That's what she feels on, too. Yeah. She danced with her first day of the dancing heels. Yeah. That's early training. I love this song. I'm assuming the dance was supposed to entice Sal, but I think Sal was more freaked out by it than, than anything. Yeah. I mean, she, you saw they were trying to possess it. Mm -hmm. and that's a way to do it. Oh, look at that. They oh, yeah. strobe lights. He dropped his beer on that one. <laughs> this is where you start running. <laughs> there is no enticement for Sal. This is starting to make a little bit of sense. <laughs> it's an interesting concept for sure. And think about it, how can people like transport their walls and ceilings and all that? They'll be jumping around. Yeah. Whoa, Sal, easy man. A little jumpy, huh? Yeah. Well, alright. Now the party's back. And so is Stoogie. Karen is pig, guys. She's actually really fucking weird. <laughs> Don't worry, Sal. It ain't the weird ones you gotta watch out for. God, didn't your mom teach you nothing about women? Yeah, they had a bunch of little cute stuff. Sure did. Yeah, he's falling for it. Mm. 
No, Sal says no, thank no. you. You come here often? <laughs> <laughs> he think he's getting lucky. Yes. But his personality, no. I never realized how sexy you are. <laughs> Kiss me. Do you not oh. hear how robotic she sounds? Oh. And of course, me and Lexi has to discuss this as well. This obviously, she is under the influence of demonic possession. So we feel pretty bad for Stooge. He thought he was getting lucky. He got some 80s music playing in the background. Obviously, it's not going the way Stooge hopes. <laughs> Yeah, definitely not the lightning part too. <laughs> no. Poor stage. <laughs> wow. Not good. Oh, her eyes are different in her. She's got some yeah. sharp teeth. Ooh, glowing eyes, upside down cross, and chewed his tongue out. Yeah, with those fangs, she's gonna bit his tongue off. Spreading that demon seed. And now suddenly the lights are working. Yeah. And it's been deserted for like years. There should be no power there. No water yeah. either. Light. Mm. I'm fixing my face. And she found her makeup again. <laughs> oh shit. Not you too. What is everybody here on drugs or something? Probably. <laughs> you know, you're a sweet looking babe, Suzanne, but you and your friend Ange are just a little too weirdo for me. <laughs> I can't seem to get it right. No thanks, honey. I'm not that type of guy. Good night now. I'm going home. You are home, Sal. Uh-uh. Dirty That's more of a prison than a home, me. though. I live in a nice house, you know, with plastic slip covers on the furniture. Plastic slip covers on the furniture. Enjoy your lipstick doll face. Good night. How in the world did our light not illuminate that room more than it did the last few times they used it? It's still here. Mm. It's creepy in here. I guess it's because it's really not a flashlight. I guess. You think it'd put off a little bit more light. Well, it did. It did in those other scenes. I really like those windows back there, though. They're kind of like stained glass in mm -hmm. the Yeah, that's definitely on my bucket list to have sex in a coffin. Suzanne? Her makeup's all off. Mm-hmm. Luring you in? Well, that's not a bad paint job. Mm-hmm. But I think that it needs a little touching up. Hey, Edge, I'm split. Oh, there you are. I was just warming my hands in the fire. Yeah, it's so. Um, in the fire, not by the fire. The cheesy jokes and like the twist of words. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. See, now, I wouldn't be happy if the door's locked. Yeah, I'm not happy at this point. I've been chipping out the window. I mean, the wood's not sturdy. Run, Sal, run. Run for your life, Sal. That's the right thing to do. Find a room with a window and get out. As long as they're not on the third floor, but do jump. And Roger's done passed out in the car. And is oblivious to what's happening inside the house. Exactly. Totally oblivious. And you hear, like, things creaking and maybe, like, a door closing every now and then. Well, you know, he did roll that window up when he got in there. I guess he locked the car doors, too. Still doesn't look here all that Oh, yeah. How do you not be creeped out by hearing that constantly? Jeez, what an asshole. Stooge! I know that's you, man. Only a fat slob like you could shake this car so much. But is it, Stooge? And there's Helen. Which is what Helen saw in the mirror. Plus, aren't you scared this whole time? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, something. And you don't really have anything under to really keep you warm in such freezing weather. What are you looking at? 
You're cramping his style, girl. Yeah. Definitely cramping his style. Stop staring at me. Don't break the momentum. Suzanne, your makeup is fine. Oh, what yeah. Get him. This is karma. Uh, looking for there, Jay. Yeah, it was the eye poking game. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Damn it, this is worse than my brother's V dub. Lord have mercy. Where have y'all done this crap at? Hey, man, get the fuck In out of here. In his brother's car, obviously. <laughs> And that's the thing, too. I never understand about this car is the entire time he's hollering, no, Stooge, no, Stooge, not now. Oh, uh, when is the best time to be killed? <laughs> and that's the thing. It, was, it almost seems like he was thinking it was a joke like they mentioned before like with the party games mm -hmm. but did you not see him grunting and growling he don't even say a human word no nope. welcome back roger oh mm -hmm. it's angela <laughs> oh boy you kind of walked into the biggest mess it's a ever. different angela <gasps> Poor Sal. Sal, move. not sal there's a demon angela in the hall not Sal, we better run this way. Sal, move! That's what's so bad about horror movies. They're never good with communication. Like, use your words properly. Something! It's, it's Angela, man! Yeah, she's creepy. She's, she's, I know, I know, I know. There's some really weird shit going on around here. Something happened to Helen. What do you mean? She crashed on top of the car. Oh, no, she's man. called dead. Oh, no. You know. It's gonna be okay, man. It's gonna be okay, man. We're gonna get out of here. Why are you talking so loud? You... She's going to have where y'all are. She's like in the halls. And she knows where you are. She's just playing games with you. Exactly. She knows exactly where you guys are. Look at her. She's grinning. They did great makeup on her. Yeah. I think really I worked with her bone structure. Yeah, just, just, just keep quiet even though she knows exactly where you are. It's the thrill of the chase, I guess. Oh, yeah. This thing is, is um, demons like a plane chase. They did like playing cat and mouse. Yeah. Uh, and Stooge, of course, can't say nothing. He seems to be as stupid as he was in human form. Jay, is that you? Yep, it ain't Jay. Jay. Let me out of here. Girl, why would you want to go back to Jay? He was using you. Jay. Girl. Jay. I mean, she was safer in the locked room. He soon got what he deserved. Don't worry about Jay. That's a very large place. Really? Is. Oh, I well, they lived in the house, it. too. Yeah, so. I swear I'm gonna slug you. <laughs> You're freaking him out, too. <laughs> Help! Somebody get me out of here! How do, how do we know it's really her? Come on, Judy! We can't tell! Please get me out of here! Sure thing, Judy, stand back! Wait! What if not her? Come on, Raj, who else could it be? A demon impersonating her? They're really good at that. <laughs> now she's finally out, but now she's out in the open with all the dangerous things Demons. Angela has planned. I love that has they made her float. It's such yeah. a good effect. It's crazy. Especially for that time period. And then obviously, Garza's is going to take off running. Does he say, Angela's coming? Nope. Run! We're gonna die! Run! No, he's runs. So don't say nothing. <laughs> you can tell she was enjoying her part. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice step. What'd you get on the floor for? Yeah. You stop running. She, she's in the rush. Yeah. You take off the shoes and you start running. <laughs> I just went in the next room. Like, you're right there. She's just playing with you. Oh, yeah. Cat and mouse, definitely. I love doing that. It'll make you think, making you think you're safe. And then... Oh. So he's way more gentleman-like than Jay was. Exactly. 
Oh yay, yeah. there's Jay, speak of the devil. <laughs> Oopsie. I got what he deserved. That's good. Totally. Hey, how about an orgy? I'm sure if we try, we can get Jay hard again. <laughs> run, Judy. run, Judy, run! <laughs> Lovely. Lovely makeup you have there. Poor <laughs> Sal. Poor Sal. I don't know, she might have done run, good to have Judy, jumped out run. the window too. Because Angela's in the halls. Yeah. Not to mention Stooge. And was, she didn't know about Stooge yet. Uh oh. Let's see, that's not good. That's not ever good. Yep, yeah, no. I mean, because demons usually can tell the future. They can tell when their time has come <laughs> to be doomed. There's Max's arm. It was just really weird. He was killed by having his arm cut off in the... He probably died from blood loss. No, there would be more blood on the floor, but that was just the, one of the weird ways they would kill you in these 80s horror movies. Oh, yeah. See, there's a lot of blood there. Yeah. Really, anyway, it's just a loss of an arm. His girlfriend, Fran, her neck was completely broken. I think really it was a good opportunity to get... Control of him too, since you know, he was basically on brink of death, I guess you'd say. At least Judy was like smart enough to run for the front door because most people do not run for the front door. And then they go further up the house, mm -hmm. and you're like, why would you do that to yourself? It's the worst thing ever. But I just want to be running around aimlessly in hallways knowing Angela's out there. Oh, right. I gotta find me a hiding place. I would have went back to that room I was in and I'd lock myself back in. <laughs> I mean, at least you're safer in there. The stooge couldn't even get the door open, and he's supposed to be the muscle. That's poor old Sal. At least he survived the fall. Not definitely not the air out of you. Oh, yeah. Why there weren't any boards on the window? Can't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, not out of the air shaft. Mm -hmm. Thank heaven for water pipes. Yeah, they're very sturdy. <laughs> they run into the ground, obviously. And all throughout the house. Mm -hmm. Especially for how high the the bathroom was. <laughs> And you still walk around the hallway. Without the flashlight on. Maybe she does have it on, just like putting up a lot of light. Those things, it's like, flashlights back in the day could do a lot better than nowadays, but I was like, why is it so dim? At least she's being smart about it. She's trying not to make the floorboards creak. She's walking very slowly with purpose. Mm hmm Yeah, I can tell you, people in horror movies, when they start running and you hear the creaking and the booming all throughout the house, really like, oh, you're yeah. letting them know where you are. Then again, she's screaming exactly where Max's arm was. <laughs> Roger! Hey, Angela. Hey, Angela. Flashlight too. And there's Suzanne. <laughs> That's kind of interesting though. I was wondering, like, why was there just three main ones and everybody was like, I guess, kind of zombie like? Yeah. Because those three were like demons and everybody else seemed more of like a zombie. And they didn't pass the demon along the way they did. Mm hmm. I guess that'd be, I don't know. <laughs> I guess if you die, you turn into a zombie, but if there's some kind of life in your body then passing I guess. it forward um 
from one body to the other, I guess, yeah. Um, this is a crappy situation to be in. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Not good. Girl, you just slide over and jump off. That's me. At least if you were to hang over to the side, it wouldn't be that big of a fall. Mm, not too, too bad. It'd still be a little bit of a knee jerker, but... And you'd hate to, like, fall and break your legs, and then you couldn't run, period. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really. Oh, there's Stooge. I think Stooge was still a Stooge. I don't think he knew nothing was going on. I mean, he's, like, aimlessly walking around. Like I said, he's more of the muscle than yeah. You know, the brain like Angela. Angela's the brain, most definitely. Shoot it! Shoot it! That's probably why Angela was the main name. Is she had like a strong personality? Because so this was her party too. Shoot it! Look out! Enjoying the view. It's beautiful. <laughs> Mm, yeah, well. Uh oh. Mm. And Sal's gone. Yeah. And she's basically dead now. Yep, Angela's dead for sure. Oh, God, please don't let me fall. Judy, work your way over this way. Ain't got that far to go, girl. I mean, you got wood underneath you. You can. Yeah. Put your feet on the wood, get yourself over. Come on, just a little further. I mean, you can't lie, that's gonna hurt regardless. At least makes you fall over. I can't do it! You're not even attempting. Mm -hmm. so how can you say you can't do it? But you can easily look down <laughs> with one arm. Don't look down, girl! Oh, Sal. I wanted him to survive. Yeah. So I'm not gonna help you now, girl. We're almost home. God, Judy, hurry up! Oh. Oh, there you go. That's how you let go. Yeah. I did like Roger being a great support system. Yeah. yeah. Very motivational. I think so. I think <laughs> Poor joke. Sal died tonight. <laughs> oh, he's Sagittarius. <laughs> December 6th, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Is it change? I think it's the change. Yeah, because Capricorn. You have the very front of Capricorn. Yeah, and I'm 27. So. And basically, they're doing the time of when this came out was 1988. So he would have been 18. Right. So they're all pretty much 18 or senior, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Um, I put in a trail. I wouldn't even want to go back in the house. No. And they're going further down. Yeah. Where there's no entrance or exit. Yeah. Obviously, basement area. There's going to be no way out. Yeah, now you're kind of trapped there. That's a big metal door. Maybe the big metal door will keep you safe. Like I said, I would have gone back to that other room and locked myself in again. Yeah, I jammed I'm telling the door. You. I'm telling you. I jammed it until morning came because thing is, just demons were better at night. It comes it comes in the, morning, the hysterics. No. Uh, yeah. Roger's hysterical. I would be too, though. Uh, no you would have just lost almost everybody except the two of you. Um, well, you know that you're probably going to die. I would be hysterical too. We're gonna make it. I, know I mean, you got three of them big guys after you. <laughs> You'd be hysterical. I don't think so. You already saved my life once tonight, didn't you? That had to be for something, right, Roger? For so. Mm. There's a door. They're down in the crematorium. Look, this is where the whole 
evil came from was out of that. Girl, it's a crematorium. There's no way out of that door. Doors don't always lead to a way out. Sometimes they close you in. And sometimes they lead you to another room that's kind of a dead end. Which is that exactly. Well, at least she was looking for something. At least you want to be cooked. Come on. I've been praying all night, Raj. We gotta go now. Well, praying was giving you the strength to complete this and get out of there. I think that's good enough. Because anybody would have just given up. What movie was that I heard that sound in? It was another old movie where I heard that exact sound in when she opened up the crematorium. I don't remember. I think it had something to do with the Ouija board. Maybe. I don't know. Some sounds in some movies are used a lot. Yep, no way out. Lovely. I look at the vampire teeth on it. <laughs> Right? Who has canines that are that long? I did. Dracula. <laughs> well, she said my baby teeth were, but not now. To me, I have braces to kind of shave your, your teeth down to where they're flat. I've been mm. This is a crematorium. Well, yeah, you heard. It was the mortuary. Oops. Oh, great. Yeah, now get back, get back outside garage. the door. Imagine the worry their parents are in right now. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming they were all supposed to be at the dance and chose the party. He knew better. The switch up. Rest assured, we've got something wonderful planned for you. So much pain, so much sorrow. You saw they were lying. Yeah. Did you hear what they said, Raj? Yeah. Not Did you hear what they said? Not about not tonight. I heard all about the pain and sorrow you have planned for me. That's what I'm focused on. But tonight. They won't go to hell tonight because because it's Halloween, right? That's why they won't go to hell tonight, right? Because it's the one night of the year they don't have to. Well, Halloween's just this more active. Remember what Helen said, Raj? Didn't she say that tonight's a special night of evil? Remember? Didn't she say that tonight's the one night of the year when all things unclean and free to roam She actually didn't say all that. No, Remember? she said, in the night, all, all creepy said, things Raj, supposed right? to stop the earth. That's, that's exactly how she said it. I yeah. Think we just hang out here until. Dawn, she just broke right. it down a little, a little more. I guess accurately. for Raj to understand, yeah. since he was kind of in an hysteria for a second. Yeah. And yeah, they're gonna save you. They make their way around. Now it's bad. Oh no. Raj is like, uh, let me just crouch in the corner and just die. <laughs> oh, he's scared, that's for sure. Man, it wouldn't be, because some people don't know how to deal with this kind of thing, especially when you're not experienced. And it ain't really a good time to call a priest, because they don't have cell phones to call. <laughs> yeah, no cell phones in the 80s. And the even 80s. if they did, there's no Wi-Fi well, in that house. Should you say, not that... You know, not that many. Not like Samsung or iPhone and all that. You have to make probably the They had the big ones that were in the cases that stayed in the cars. Mm -hmm. Which they're not in the cars. And probably did. Oh, she got the lighter. It's a good thing she picked it up. Yeah. She's like, this is probably wishing to Angela. Alright, <laughs> we just need a spark. Just a spark. I would be cursing at this point. Keep on. There you go. How did she not burn the house down? I can't stop 
things I said one time before. Obviously, she just wanted her hands in the fire, not everything. Turn a little harder than that. There you go. I'd have kept that thing on. I really would think the same thing. Keep doing it until daylight, maybe. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Roger's is gone again, man. And door's closing again. I'm sorry, wouldn't I freak you out being in a house like that and hearing all the doors close? Yeah, I would not be real excited. That always means it's getting worse. If it could get any worse. Oh, it can, it can always get worse. <laughs> in any situation, even a logical, everyday life situation. But, he's made the front door too. Get out. Get Jump out the window. Oh, there's Jay. Yeah. Jay, boo. Oh, Jay, no. Girl, don't cry for that, man. What's the matter, Judy? Don't you like your blind date? I love the cheese jokes. <laughs> don't you like your blind date? Technically, he's blind. Oh, Angela getting worse and worse. Bless your heart. She's half burnt. And she's still smoking, too. Look at her. <laughs> It's like a creepy bridal. Oh, oh yeah. And there's Helen and Sal. Oh, poor Sal. Sal was such a sad demon. <laughs> I felt so bad for Sal. I said I wanted him to live. Yeah. I definitely wanted sweet Roger to live. And then I had a right idea jump through the window. Yep. When you think how old the glass is. I don't know if I'd have jumped through it. I'd maybe picked a chair up, maybe. But hey, it had bars on the windows. He knocked the friggin' bars out, too. <laughs> Angel's hoping, he, he was hoping he'd be dead or something. That's probably better than this. Let's go, Judy. Yep. You got him the fourth. <laughs> Gosh. Well, Roger's got bad news for you. We have to get to the gate! There is no gate! The gate's over here, Roger! There is no gate, come on! And all that's left is barbed wire. Oh. To climb. Oh, Girl, this yeah. life and death, I'm climbing the barbed wire. I, I don't know. I'd be asking for Angela's keys where I could drive around or something. Hey, probably drop the dog <laughs> running he did. Oh, that's terrible. Bad, bad, bad situation. Honey, I take the barbed wire any day. Oh. Over that. Pain obviously is, is, is gone very quickly. I mean, you got an adrenaline pumping like that. I mean, you could take the whole knife to the hand and not even feel it. Adrenaline is our protector sometimes. It gets you out of some really scary crap. Oh. And it's just so still a fire. <laughs> yeah, he's still smoking a little bit. Mm. This is where you start coming faster. <laughs> And here's everybody. This is not a good situation. Okay, how did the how did zombie Max get his shirt back on? Well, he was shirtless. Yeah, and even uh, Franny had hers on too. <gasps> they dressed themselves. <laughs> the just begun. It'd be kind of weird for them to walk out there naked. Like that. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you're, you're kind of cornered now. Hold on, girl. Oh, my gosh. All right, Rog, get up. Get up, Rog. What a Rog. sad Sal. He is a sad Sal, right? <laughs> Max just looks kind of like... Yeah. Him just looks kind of more delirious. Yeah. Well, out of it. Sleepy, maybe? I think sleepy. Come on, Raj. We know you're there. Oh, there you go. How can you have that much strength to hold her with all the blood covering in your hands? Because that would definitely make it sweet. Yeah. He cut his hands, too. You 
can even tell Franny in Helen's face. Mm-mm. What a sound, oh my god. Mm -hmm. They want to take me climbing. Well, if what was heard is true, they couldn't cross over the running water, which is where the wall is. And everybody's down. How are they going to answer their parents to what happened to my kid? Mm-hmm. I don't think they're really going to believe you if you say a demon's killed them. Where were you at all night? I thought you were going to the dance. That's a strange thing. Long teeth. Nice rainy weather. These are. Yeah, don't know if y'all can hear it. It has been thundering and raining the entire time we've been watching this movie, so that made it that much better for us. What's best during a storm? Watch a horror movie, right? It really says the end. And now it's morning. And they are just trashed. <laughs> yes. But they're alive. Soul survivors. They didn't do drugs, they didn't drink, and they weren't having sex. Always makes you a survivor in the horror movies. I bet they're gonna stick together for the rest of their lives. No, they're the only ones that believe each other in this situation. Out all night, huh? Uh, it's grumpy. What are you gonna tell your parents when you come home and you look like that? Ah, yeah, they're all rotten hell. Mmm, <laughs> poor man. Sir, not every kid is a bad person. Nice old fashioned house. Mm hmm. Look at that happy wife. Good morning, dear. It's precious. Yeah. What's so good about it? You're alive and breathing? What's so good about it? Love the grandma. She's just awesome. She's precious. She made him a pie. Nah. It's okay. Just okay? You used to love my homemade pies. I live for homemade pie. Homemade? When did you make this? Uh-oh. Is there a I problem? I hours, sleepyhead. I made it while you were getting your beauty rest. Last night? There weren't as many trick-or-treaters last night. Not like the good old days. Bless her. I had to do something with all those leftover apples. Mmm. I still can't understand why you buy so many. <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now, it doesn't happen that way, but definitely yeah. very effective. <laughs> I kind of wonder, how did you not chew on that book? Yeah. Did you miss the blades? I guess. No, he didn't have teeth. <laughs> Happy Halloween, dear. Oh, she knew. She's done with you. God, I love her. She's the best. And as we said, it's not that we couldn't react to the movie. Well, we can't really react to the movie, but it's not that we dislike the movie. Actually, this is one of our favorite movies, but... We always uh, have to critique some of the characters in horror movies because some of them just have these personalities that have a lot of faults. Yeah, and it's and it's sort of kind of good to sort of. I used to do it a long time ago when I started watching horror movies. Was I almost had to make light of everything and make a joke of everything, and, and that way I wouldn't be scared. So there's a way to do that as well. But also, when you rewatch movies so many times, you notice things that you didn't. You do. Before. There's things that you missed. I, matter of fact, that's the first time I seen that Max had the shirt on. I just noticed that, and I know I've seen this thing twenty times. So. <clears throat> we hope you enjoyed our roasting of Night of the <laughs> Demons. Love you guys. Bye-bye.